Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is uh, Will, aka Ill Will. Um, I decided to make today's video about uh, IP version 4 and IP version 6 and uh, to talk about the differences between IP version 4 and IP version 6. So, uh, you may say to yourself, what is IP version 4 and what is IP version 6? Now, uh, I can recall in the year 2013 ish, I was working with a co worker. He and I were working at uh, Newark Airport, and uh, I remember he asked me, uh, uh, "Will, what's what's IP version 6? And I and I and I said, and I said to him, "Look, uh, I'm going to explain to you." So um, I was kind of puzzled as to uh, how this individual didn't know about IP version 6, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Now, look, IP version 4, right? When the engineers of the internet, when they first developed the internet. And say uh, the 80s, give us, give us, give her, no, no, actually, when the engineers of the internet, when they developed the internet, correct, they never imagined that um, so many devices were going to connect to the internet. It was originally designed for approximately 4 billion, 294 million, if I'm not mistaken. So, 4 billion devices were um, were to connect to the internet. What happened was that around in the 90s, the engineers of the internet realized that um, that this address space uh, was going to become exhausted. So uh, what they did was they set up certain technologies in place to expand the address space of the internet. One of those ad one of those technologies was uh, NAT. Another one was PAT, uh, network address translation, port address uh, translation. Uh, what was another one? Uh, was it VLSM? Verilink, Sun Basket. I'm trying to think. I, I'm, I, must, I believe that one, another one was VLSM. But um, another addressing scheme that they invented was uh, was what we refer to as IP version six. Now, IP version six has approximately um, it's a it's a it's a number that's uh, in the octillions. It's a number. It has approximately eight commas in it, and um, it, it's a it's a number that's like it's insanely large. Um, that's uh, the concept of IP version six. Um, right now, a lot of our devices are using IP version six, and we are in the uh, we're we're in the time frame right now where we're we're slowly trans uh, trans uh, crossing over, if you will, from IP version four to IP version six. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, uh, FE80, FE8 and zero is uh, a, is the equivalent to an IP version four a PIPA. A PIPA in IP version four is an automatic private IP address, correct? And an automatic private IP address is um, when an IP version four uh, client uh, cannot get an address from the DH DHCP server. So the equivalent of that would be, I think in the IP version six, we call it link local, but please uh, leave a comment and correct me if I'm wrong. What else can I tell you about IP version six? I, IP version six, it is, uh, it, they're eight, uh, they're not octets because in IP version four is an octet, but there are eight groups of four hexadecimal numbers separated by a colon and the equivalent to, from of uh, the IP version four loopback address and IP version four the loopback address is 127.0.0.1 and the equivalent in IP version six is I believe it's uh, colon colon one that will be the equivalent of an IP version uh, six uh, loopback address. Uh, trying to think what else can I teach you guys today and. Guys, through here. You guys, doing construction over here. All right, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, any other questions? Uh, feel free to comment. Uh, if you like it, always give a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, you know, just doesn't matter. I guess I don't know. Peace and love. Bye.